Check this. Welcome back, everyone, to another Never Craft Realm series. This would be Season 2, Episode 24, and we're over here at the Joint Base, and we got some stuff that we're going to work on. Um, so, I'm still waiting on your guys' responses back from the uh, poll we put in last episode. I should have that before the end of this episode, before I put this episode out. But I'm giving it a couple days before I actually do this. And I'm recording this the exact same day as I uh, did that episode. So, <laughs> wow, man, they're just creepers everywhere. Okay, so anyways, the sub. I have an idea of what to do with the submarine. And we're going to go in there and we're going to discuss it. And then I'm going to get on to business. And of course, I cannot float in there. All right, so down into the depths of the submarine. So I'm thinking this submarine here would be an epic delivery system for all the different satellite systems. So, you know, we kind of close off this deck here where we have, you know, the satellite that you guys pick will be stored, you know, because we do have these ports here where we can send the satellites out, you know, and we have the Saturn V rocket, which should be somewhere in this direction here. But all this area down here, we could put the individual satellite control stations down here where we can monitor, ooh, monitor all the different satellites across the Nevercraft realm. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prep that and make that a thing in a reality. So I think it's gonna be kind of cool, at least I'm picturing it to be kind of cool. We'll see what it looks like in the end. So I'm, that's one project I think we're gonna get onto today. The other projects, you know, put maybe a wheelhouse up here, maybe. Uh, yeah, something like that, maybe. A wheelhouse up there to control things. And another project is we need a storage facility. Like right now, all of our storage is in there and it kind of looks like Garbo. So, <clears throat> what I'm thinking is that we have this area over here, right? We have all this stuff down here. You know, we have the bottom side of this, the bottom side of that, and the bottom side of this one here. So all of these could make cool storage facilities. Let's change our view here and land on the back side of the sub. Oh, I almost thought that was a creeper. I think a storage facility right in here would be kind of cool. So we have the path that leads up and goes through the mountain and goes up right through there, right? We could probably push it out through here, come down and around the backside, and then boom, into a cave here, which could be our storage facility. So I think those are gonna be two of the projects that I'm gonna work on. Or we can just continue this path along here let me get up into the front side of the sub here. Right here, we could do this path right along here and we could dig in right here and use this mountain as the storage facility. No, I think that's a better idea, yeah. It'd be a lot easier for me to do than you know the other one. So I think I'll just continue that path along this direction here behind me into this mountain and make a kind of a Pirate's Cove type of deal that would make a pretty cool storage facility. And I hear a drown. Uh, I don't see the drown, but I hear one. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't want to mess with me. Okay, anyways, let's just go ahead and swim over here to shore. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and get on work, get to work making these things happen. And then, We'll see how things go, all right? So I'll bring you guys back when I have something to show you guys. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, everyone, and welcome back. So we have some stuff to do. All right, so I've been doing some thinking. 
I took, you know, a day off uh, from playing Minecraft because, you know, I was just not feeling too well and stuff. So I decided it's time to come down into the submarine and do some work. So I have a couple ideas. I know I kind of mentioned them. So I got some stuff together, right? So here's what I'm thinking. Um, first, first and foremost, let's get rid of these blocks here. So thinking we place these blocks right here. Or do we need to go one lower hall? Let's let's look at this again. Ooh, so that would be right there on that black. Which gives us two, not enough height. Um, okay, so let's bring this down a block because this still gives us two. Even if we put that there, yeah, that still gives us. Hmm. Okay, let's just do it right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place all these blocks here and see and then we'll go into what i'm talking about so i'll see you guys in a second all right everyone so here we are back again and i've done a little bit of room so we have the submarine right and in the submarines they have like bulkheads and stuff like that so i went ahead and installed the first bulkhead here you know, so I use the same concrete that is, you know, the exterior of the ship for the most part. And you come in and you have like the main control room. Uh, I need to figure out something to put in the item frames, but you know, I think this is gonna do a fairly decent job of, you know, kind of making this look like, you know, an active, you know, thing. You know, so we have where the pilots are here, you know, cause you got the two, the two guys that help pilot the ship, you know, two degree down bubble, you know, and they go, you know, do their thing. And then you have like over here, I'm envisioning this as like the sonar, you know, guys, you know, over here listening to sonar and whatnot. And then these guys are your navigation, you know, plotting courses or communications. Yeah, communications is even better. And, you know, right here, which, of course, I do not have any on me. Uh, and I don't have anything that would uh, do it. But so right about here is where the periscope will come down, which isn't really in line with where the periscope is because like the periscope's like right here. But, you know, you, know, you just gotta kind of use your imagination. This is Minecraft, you know, after all. So, you know, we're gonna use our imagination. So what I'm envisioning here in this room is probably, do I have you good? Yes. Um, right about here, I guess, would be the engine room, I would say. You know, so we'll have to design some type of engine to go back here. And I have an idea for an engine, I think. <laughs> We'll see if it's an idea or if it's just, you know, me failing, you know, at building like normal. But I do have a few ideas. So we're going to work on that. But so one thing I do want to do, so lighting in this area. So I got myself a bunch of in rods. So what I'm, you know, I don't know if it's just me or like every single movie I've ever saw always had cables and whatnot for the submarine running like on the edge of the walls so that's what I'm envisioning I don't really want to do well I guess I could just put them right up here you know so that's what I'm envisioning is these in rods just going and straight up being you know the like cabling you know, running all the power, the communications, everything throughout the ship, which will allow me to get rid of all these in rods here in the center of the build. Like all these, I, you know, I don't want to put them there. So I'm gonna run the cabling, I guess. And 
Well, actually, hold on. Before we run cabling on the other side, we'll talk about this room. So this room here is I'm envisioning the main satellite control station with this being the satellite launch area. So boom. So yeah, one block off from that. So we have this whole area here, which is gonna have a bunch of satellite control areas. <clears throat> so I need to get, you know, look at the video. I know I've been looking at your guys' comments and I've been paying attention to the poll. I'm hoping for a few more votes to, co votes to come in. Uh, I don't know about Mirror's video, because uh, like how many votes have come in on his video yet but it's looking like so far from what the last I looked was the MK1 and the MK3 are tied with the votes so depending on what votes came from Mirror's video will depend on you know how much or which rock, uh, satellite we will be using for you know, launch sequences. So, I'm gonna get a few more supplies together. Actually, no, I don't need to. I'm sorry. I have the supplies right here. So we have some stairs, and we have these. Uh, I wish I had a crafting bench on me, and there's absolutely no crafting bench in here. All right, so we'll do one together real quick. So, can I do this? Yes, I can. And let's do this. Oh, no. Okay. I gotta learn how to play Minecraft sometimes. Uh, there we go. That's, I think that looks like a nice station there. And we'll just do this, right? And we'll leave one spot. Man, I really am not playing Minecraft right today. And let's see. Boom. Boom. And... Ah, boom. All right, yeah. So just doing individual things like this, and this will allow us to kind of check out what everybody's doing. And what I would like to do, because I have these rails here, right? Is put a rail here, put a rail here, and then I need some, yes, okay, hold on. I know I have some up here. And, oh no, it's dark. Alright, let's go up to storage real quick. And when we get up here to storage, I should have what I need because I know I've made too many of them. Don't have what I need, but I can make some. I'm gonna need a lot of these. And so let's let's make one crafting bench while we're at it. And 42 of those, yeah. Let's just go ahead and drop those in here because I don't need those anymore. And let's go back to the submarine. Ooh, creeper. Ooh. All right. All right, so we're back down here. <laughs> oh, I forgot the other thing I needed, but okay. So just picture, <laughs> oh man. This is why you don't build on camera, guys. So picture a minecart being there, and this would be kind of the chair that the guys will sit in, so. Really? Man, I'm really no good at Minecraft today. There we go. So those would be the chairs you would sit in and you would read all, you know, watch the camera views. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna knock out the rest of these and I'm gonna get the mine carts in and then I'll bring you guys back uh, with the finished product. All right, everyone, and welcome back. And we've done some stuff and things. So we put the clocks up here for the radios and we have the compasses over here for our like sonar you know because it's like the sonar thing going around 
we added both the clocks and the compasses up here so that we can, you know, for the two guys driving. Uh, haven't launched any satellites, so I don't have any feeds to these cameras yet, but that's coming soon. And we have built the engine. So, you know, you have all the readouts for the engine here and the engine works. Boom, boom, you see the lights going on and off. You know, just simple redstone, you know, just sticky pistons and whatnot, but you know, the engine does work. And then I also went ahead, let's go ahead and pick this up. We don't need it down here no more. Mm -hmm. Do I have any of these? I do, okay. That one block. Do that. Okay, that makes me feel better. All right, and so now we have a housing compartment down here for the sailors that are going to be, you know, riding in this submarine. And here will be our what's it called? Uh, where our tubes are for our torpedoes. And then we have one more room back here. I really don't know. Of course, I place the watch what this room would be used for. Maybe storage or something. Maybe I'll throw some storage back here. But that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. And it's gonna break the block, yes. Here goes. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking at right now. But I'm gonna take a break from the submarine. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the next thing that needs to be done, which is the path. So we we're going to create the path into, you know, here. I'm just, you know, and start digging into here and making storage up, up underneath this mountain here. So I'm going to get on to that and I'll bring you guys back once I have something to show you all. And welcome back everyone. So I started doing some work and we'll go over and we'll take a look at it. All right. And so we were working on, where I left you guys last time, is we were working on this path. So, you know, I start working on the path, and I'm like, okay, here, I'm gonna, you know, over here is where I wanted to do the storage room, and as you can see, it's pretty shallow. Um, do I not have any arrows on me? Of course I do not, yay. All right, so anyways, there was not a enough space. So I think I'm gonna have to change it over to here, but what I want to do is go ahead and make this like a cave, and I would walk through the cave, um, maybe make another entrance this way to like maybe a small dock or a little boat or something, and just have a little bit of fun with detailing around the area but as promised in the last video we have to show you guys which one which satellite we may have got a glimpse of it there which satellite actually got chosen so and it is the mk1 with a resounding lead was chosen as the new never crash space agency satellite so we have the observer block with two end rods a couple iron bars and some blue stained glass panes and that is the one we have so i went ahead and put the industrial complex to work and we started building them and getting them ready to fly out i believe the mighty mirror hut has already started knocking some stuff out so let's head over here to the sub and take a look. Oh no, I missed. Them. Wow, that was an epic failure. Okay, so let's head over here to the submarine. All right, and take a look. Okay, that's that part here. So we have a few maps already started. So we have the Lucas West and East. So let's take a look here. I, okay, so that is Lucas's area right here. And it looks like he's already started, you know, doing some building. He's got an actual bean there, it looks like. That's pretty cool. 
Then we have Skyler North and South. Um, looks like it's got a decent sized building going on there. Press line. Um, hmm. like, looks like here and there maybe are two base spots. Minion Man. Um, what is going on here? It looks like a farm house, some bridges, a couple more houses, and some snow-capped mountains? Okay. And then we have North A2 and North A1. I do not know whose base this is. Um, I think that's I think that's the edge of the shopping district, maybe? I don't know, actually. So we'll have to look into that. Um, but those are the satellites that are up right now. So we have one, two, three, four, five satellites up. And I have a couple satellites that I need to go ahead and put up. And, but you're gonna have to wait until next episode to see that, because we have well, too much work to do over here. So, you know, I did all that work over there. I started this. And I, I'm liking it, but not liking it. I think I need to put some uh, logs in there. Uh, do I have any logs? Let's check this storage over here. Okay, I have a few spruce logs. Good. All right, so let's fly down. Hold off y'all and get to work on these spruce logs. So what I like to do, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this before, but like with these ones, I strip it down here so it makes it look like the water has kind of worn away the bark and whatnot, and then at the water level, we do that. So, let's see here. We'll go ahead and over that block and that block there. And boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right like that. Let's get rid of this one here. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Hey, you. Get off me. All right. Um, let's break this one here. Go here, here. You. Let's break that here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Pretty much like every curve, it looks like. I think I want to put these. Or maybe not every curve, but a lot of them. Like I think it'd be silly to put one there, but right here would be a good spot to put one. <clears throat> definitely right here is a definitely a good spot to put those. Hmm, I might have to do something about that. There, let's go. Break that block. Nice in the water line. Break that block too. Put these down here. Yeah. Okay, that now that makes that so much better. Ow! Really? Man, these drowns are getting annoying today. Oh, of course. This guy. The wandering traders. Why? Why, why, why? Weren't they supposed to be like super rare or something? But of course they're not. So they're a pain in the butt. Okay, block, you just look weird in there. So I think this area is starting to come along and looking pretty nice. Uh, I need to do some more trees, I think, and some more detailing here and there. But overall, it's just starting to look really, really good. I mean, really enjoying this build here. And it's gonna be fun to start getting some of these other things out about the world like these satellites like are starting to load stuff up I'm not sure if Mir is work using the satellite distribution center of, of the rocket or not I do need to load up the sub with a few satellites uh, but as you guys can see I ran out of materials so I need to gather some more materials up to get that all done but think that's about all the time we have for today guys so if you like what you saw go ahead and hit that like button and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe 
and hit that notification bell while you're at it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.